This is the ode to the rhymes at the Three of Cups Lounge. Once I was a wandering poet, stumbling in and out of random dark rooms. Then I entered the basement of Three of Cups Lounge. Wrote my name on the list, sat on an empty bar stool in the back of the room, downed a few cans of PBR, and watched the open mic. When my name was called, poetry papers trembled in my hand, my heart pounded, on stage my voice cracked, I was barely able to get the words to transmit through the microphone before me. Yet the audience was attentive and politely applauded. I felt welcome, so I kept coming back, and the world continued to spin around. It wasn't just me, others agreed, this ancient mariner ran a good show. A military man, he always started on time. He canvassed other venues citywide, searched for undiscovered talent to feature, and he pulled it together in an artistic, nurturing slurry. Every last Wednesday of the month, poets came to share their craft, the puzzle pieces of our writing life. In this space, you could hear a doctor who recites Seuss-like rhymes, <laughs> see performers who burst into song. Here you can see a grown man who shouts about the joys of drunken college girls dancing. <laughs> and sometimes you could hear French poetry that you know was very sexy, even if you couldn't translate a single word. <laughs> Once I was a wandering writer, rolling through the East Village, the winds of fate brought me here, and soon it became my poetic home. Today we celebrate the fifth anniversary of the Rhyme Show in this basement of an Italian restaurant, a business soon closing. Where will the writers go? Is this the, lamb's, is this the last Rhyme Show? I don't know. Perhaps we, the show will find a new destination. We will see. But for now, for this moment in time, let's all thank Bill Giambri for the years and the memories of the Rhyme Show.